What's up, y'all? Today, I wanted to do a really quick video on Berkeley Gulp versus Z-Man. So this is a question I get all the time when I'm in the tackle shop and I see y'all, or I just get a lot of comments about when to fish Berkeley Gulp and when to fish Z-Man, or is one better than the other? I'm here to tell you guys that I am not sponsored or endorsed by either of these companies. So that allows me to have a completely unbiased opinion about both Berkeley Gulp and Z-Man. These are two baits that I use for soft plastics on this YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, these planes fly over my house all the time. But that's the sound of freedom, you guys. Chesapeake Bay right behind me, Virginia Beach. So that's actually, I think it looks like a Coast Guard plane. Anyways, so you guys, I wanted to talk about a few of my favorite uh, gulp baits and a few of my favorite Z-Man baits. And when I fish them and also just when I'm thinking about like what species I'm gonna be fishing with. So this video hopefully will save you guys a lot of money, a lot of time, and yeah, just when you guys go into the tackle shop, then y'all have a little bit better understanding of both of these, which again, you guys, soft plastics are insanely effective and very versatile. You know, you can fish at all parts of the water column, and it's typically gonna be not only like the first lure that a lot of people catch their first um, inshore fish, saltwater fish off of, but it's also one that you're always gonna have in your tackle box because a soft plastic, you know, like a gulper Z-Man is really always gonna have its place no matter if you're fishing in like New York, Montauk, or down in Texas or the Florida Keys. Just to kind of get right to it for the reason why y'all, you know, wanted to watch this video that Berkeley Gulp versus Z-Man, which one do I like better? Which one do I fish more? Honestly, it just depends on the fishing conditions and the species that I'm targeting that day. And, you know, again, just kind of what the bite is calling for on that day. So if I'm flounder fishing, probably gonna be going a little bit more towards the Berkeley Gulp. So for trout fishing, will be primarily uh, Z-Man, you know, because they are more uh, sight oriented, less scent oriented. So like speckled trout, uh, striped bass, I'll be, you know, using primarily the Z-Man. And even when I go fishing for like adult redfish, then we'll be using the diesel minnow as well. Um, the sexy mullet right here, we do a lot of fishing in the Noose River uh, for the big bull drum and we use this uh, sexy mullet color right here as well. So this is this is one of the colors that I use in my backyard all the time from Virginia through North Carolina is the sexy mullet. And I'm just gonna talk first about some of my favorite baits for each of these and when I fish them. So this right here, this is the Berkeley Gulp uh, New Penny Shrimp. So these are the three inch shrimp right here and these are amazing. Uh, I fish these primarily for uh, redfish and flounder is what I use for these uh, Berkeley Gulp New Penny Shrimp. Yes, I will fish them for trout and even snook, but uh, the shrimp are amazing for flounder fishing because I can bounce them on the bottom. And for uh, redfish, I can make a lot of targeted casts. You know, these shrimp, they have an amazing uh, scent to them. So for flounder fishing, you know, I'm bouncing them on the bottom and the flounder just cannot resist it. Uh, and for redfish, you know, again, these shrimp, I can make a targeted cast like on a flat or a piece of structure and it doesn't have to be like a really long cast, you know, and I can just bounce it back. Um, now with Berkeley Gulp, one of the things when we're comparing these two, Berkeley Gulp and Z-Man, everybody is very familiar with the tail biters. So the plus of Berkeley Gulp is you have obviously a lot better scent. Berkeley Gulp has this, you know, mega proprietary, um, you know, formula that um, definitely works for the scent. Um, and you know, so it's a little bit more like oil based, which for redfish and flounder, you know, more of your scent oriented, um, you know, fish. So this Berkeley Gulp and this oil is one of the, you know, biggest benefits of using this Berkeley Gulp because you can really even catch fish with when you just are dead sticking, which means you're not even doing anything to your lure. You just cast it out and you just let it sit just like live bait. But the negative with this is these Berkeley Gulp, they're not as durable. You know, all it takes is like a croaker or a pinfish or something and it'll like chop the tail off. I can literally like kind of like pull the tail off of this Berkeley Gulp just like that. So, you know, I just pulled the tail off of that Berkeley Gulp. So hopefully you guys like and subscribe this video because these Berkeley Gulps are expensive. So that's another one of the downsides of these Berkeley Gulp is how expensive that they are. But again, the scent is truly amazing. So that's why I always have Berkeley Gulp in my tackle box. Now, on the other hand, um, 
those tail biters, if you get into a lot of them, those, you know, like croaker, penfish, and you know, just those small bait fish that you're not really targeting, that's when I go to a Z-Man. So this is a Z-Man, and Z-Man is made out of a Laz Tech. That's what it's called, it's a proprietary uh, kind of blend. So just kind of in short, like Berkeley Gulp, their main benefit is, you know, just their scent. Z-Man, the benefit is just the profile of a Z-Man is insane. And you can fish one Z-Man for almost an entire season. So when I'm fishing Z-Man, I wanna pair that up with some Procure. So this is Procure Mullet right here. And uh, so I use Mullet and they make tons of different flavors, shrimp. Honestly, the fish can't tell. I use Mullet on shrimp. I use shrimp on other Z-Man. But anyways, you guys, so I use Berkeley Gulp when I'm flounder fishing a lot. If I'm going out and I'm specifically targeting flounder, then I'm gonna be using a lot of Berkeley Gold. Uh, just because uh, something about that scent and the oils in that Berkeley gulp that I feel like those flounder are going to uh, bite it uh, deeper and they're also going to hold on to it longer, which you know definitely allows me to catch a lot more flounder. Um, I do flounder fish with Z-Man, but I find that I'm a little bit more successful on uh, Berkeley gulp when I'm targeting flounder. A few other of my favorites for Berkeley gulp, I really love the swimming mullet. This is the swimming mullet, the orange type and I absolutely love this color love this profile this right here I love the multicolored on the bottom you've got like a lighter color it's like almost like a chartreuse if you will and then it's got new penny on top so I love this because it kind of does mimic like a mud minnow uh, really really well I love this color love this profile so for the swimming mullet I will fish with this for everything I'll fish trout, I'll fish flounder, and redfish. This is one of my favorite flounder fishing um, sauce plastics right here is the uh, swimming mullet. For Z-Man, I absolutely love, this is my favorite right here. This is the Minnow Z, and this is pearl white. So I like to fish, I love pearl white. This is another great flounder fishing profile right here. So when you're fishing in the summertime and y'all down in Florida and Texas, and you guys just have so much fish down there. Like, so you guys just have tons of, you know, toothy critters and everything. So these Z-Mans right here are great. If I'm fishing in Florida, you know, snook fishing, or if I'm just flounder fishing down in Florida, or if I was gonna go in Texas or anything, then I would probably use a Z-Man because Look at this, you guys. I mean, you can't really beat that right there. And the profile, the action on these is great. So I also have another video of me showing the action of each of these soft plastics in a pool. So you guys definitely check that out and I, t and I show you how to fish it and the action of each of these. But you know, you just get this tail right here that even when it's like sitting in the water, look at that, like it still has action to it. So um, this can mimic, you know, you can, you can swim this across, you can bounce it on the bottom. But these Z-Man uh, Minnow Z's, I always, always have in my tackle box. But right now, when I'm fishing in the um, winter time and I'm specifically targeting speckled trout, I'm primarily only fishing Z-Man and I'm not really gonna be fishing the Berkeley Gulp because these Z-Man um, are just such great trout lures. And, you know, again, the trout really aren't scent oriented. They're more sight oriented feeders. And also, if I'm fishing for striped bass, then I'm gonna be fishing uh, the Z-Man as well. This is this is the diesel minnow. This is the regular minnow Z. So as you can see, the diesel minnow is a little bit larger. These are my two favorite colors. Pearl white, because I, pearl white I feel like can work in any water clarity. Um, and then I really love this Creole croaker. So Creole croaker, I absolutely love this color. So I, I pretty much always, always fish this Creole croaker color. Um, and I like to fish this, so if I'm fishing for striper or like schoolie size striper from 15 to 30 inches plus, then I'm gonna be using the diesel minnow Z. If I'm fishing for trout and reds and flounder, then I'm pretty much gonna be using this one, which is just the minnow Z right here. So um, a few other colors that I like is the electric chicken. Really, really like this. This is actually one of my favorite colors for mirror lure. So um, you guys, this electric chicken works great. So my three favorite Z-Man uh, soft plastics that I have in my tackle box at all times are going to be some form of these are either the Minnow Z or the Diesel Minnow Z right here. So this one, I'm also going to have a Jerk Shad 
right here. Uh, the jerk shad, here I'll show you guys on the back so you can see a little bit more of the profile. So the jerk shad, you know, it has that erratic action in the water. So I can fish this underneath of a popping cork, I can bounce this on the bottom, or I can also kind of just like, you know, jig it through the water column as well. So this right here is an amazing lure that I always, always have in my tackle box. And then the other one is Z-Man did a really good job on their shrimp profile. So this one is a Laguna shrimp and this is a little bit more of your natural colored one so i'm gonna fish this natural color if i'm fishing say in like jupiter florida stewart florida um or just some clearer ocean water like moorhead city or wilmington is where i'll fish the laguna shrimp uh, when i'm fishing in the outer banks or maybe in my backyard in the chesapeake bay then i'll be using this root beer color right here with the chartreuse tail so this one right here is amazing i love these gold flakes on it um and it's kind of that like darker color with some gold flakes so hopefully y'all can see that right there and so like the outer banks louisiana um you know places like that charleston um this right here is an excellent color right here so that right there is a breakdown on berkeley gulp versus e-man Hopefully that helps you all in the tackle shop when you guys go to buy these. Um, if y'all have any other suggestions of any other like tutorials or any other videos that y'all want us to do here on this channel, then definitely leave us a comment. And also, please help out this channel. If you haven't, please subscribe. Please like. It really helps us out. Uh, this is our job. So if you guys can just help us out, we don't charge for these videos and all this information that we just love giving y'all and helping y'all catch more fish because that's what it's all about. And please help out this channel. And that's all we got. You guys get up off your butt. Go catch yourself some fish. Peace out.